All right, we back again. Here we go. Back with Estella and Joshua. All right, now the last episode, uh, what did we we saved two kids. We saved two kids from, um, you know, ultimately getting killed by some monsters. You know, no big biggie. It was crazy, and uh, when I ended the episode, uh, I thought we were going to the house, but I was really going the wrong way. So this is the correct way to the house. I don't know where that other way would have led us. Let's go tell Dad the good news. Oh wait, no. No, Dad showed up. Are we just going to sleep? Oh, so it's crazy. That whole time I was getting hurt, I could have probably just really just came back here. Yo, you run so fucking fast. I forget, we're supposed to do something. We're home, Dad. We finished reporting to the guild like you told us to. Good work, kids. The details of your reports will be reviewed at each branch and will affect your pay and rank advancement in the future. Please make sure that you always remember to do it. Don't worry, we will. And before I forget, I got that copy of the liberal news you wanted. There was this letter for you at the guild, too. A letter, huh? Well, I'm going to get cleaned up and start dinner. Oh, and Dad. Um, thanks for coming when you did today. You really helped me out back there. I see, you're being rather gracious today. Papa is happy. How delightful that my daughter has finally understood what a great man her father truly is. There's no need to hold back, Estella. Come and jump into your father's loving arms. In your dreams. I swear, the men in this house have one thing in common. They never know when to shut up. Get to... Unless they get to stepping. I guess she's not as depressed as I thought she would have been. Should I be thanking you, Joshua? I didn't do much. All I did was give her a little push in the right direction. That was a resilient girl to begin with. Yes, she is, but she still has a long way to go. You'll run into even more than a few stumbling blocks in this line of work. Overcoming those obstacles is what will teach her to stand on her own two feet. There's that soft side of yours talking again. Damn. Oh no, eggs are supposed aren't supposed to explode like that. I guess I should have gone in expecting to... Wait, what? I guess I shouldn't have gone in expecting to make a perfect meal in a single try. No, wait. Cooking is supposed to be about passion. Exploding eggs are passionate, right? Now, once more. That daughter of mine can sometimes be a little too passionate. I think I'll go help her with dinner. We don't want to ca get the curtains to catch on fire. But at this rate, there's no telling when we can expect to have a bite of food ready on the dinner table. My boy Joshua more responsible. Ha <laughs> ha. All right then. Let's see what this letter is about, shall we? Here we go. It's about to get real dark. Cassis cuts the letter seal. Hmm. A message from the Emborium Empire. Oh yeah, there's that serious face right there. What? Wow, this is a surprise. This new dish is what I call Estella's egg explosion over rice. Be sure to savor every morsel, every last morsel. I will. Your cooking this evening is excellent. My compliments to the chef. Hee <laughs> hee, this is raw talent is at its best. Today certainly has been a busy, but great day nonetheless. We qualified as junior bracers, had our first real assignment, and I'd even lose my eyebrows making dinner this time. Not to mention the food being delicious for our first attempt. This dish is actually quite edible. At first I thought I might have to pitch out the window when you weren't looking, but it seems the technique won't be necessary tonight. Sometimes you're just so despicably rude, Dad. Don't you know how to humble and just say that something tastes nice? Alright then, how about this? Boy, I will. I never thought I'd be able to eat something wonderful like this before I had to leave on business. You made a splendid meal, Estella. Thanks, Dad. Uh-oh. Wait, business? Are you really leaving again? Yes. Something unexpected came up this time, and I'm going to be away for a while. Hold on a minute. You're leaving? When? 
tomorrow morning. What? I don't care what kind of job you're doing, that's just too soon. It's about that letter, isn't it? Was there some sort of incident? Oh, it's nothing like that. Just a simple investigation. I'll have to visit a number of places, so it'll take me about a solid month before I'm through. That being the case, please take care of the house while I'm gone. What do you mean, that being the case? You always use some vague excuse like that and take off for who knows how long. We have to accept it, Extella. Racer's job is to help those who come and ask for help. I know, I know, but what are you going to do about all your jobs here at Roland Branch? You've already accepted a few of them, haven't you? Oh, only five or six. Let me guess, he's going to pass it down to us. So I was thinking, and... How about the both of you handle them for me instead? Oh, who saw that coming? Are you really asking us to do the work that you're supposed to be doing? That I am. I'll have you be the ones to accomplish them. And I'll ask just as hard to handle the difficult ones. So, what do you say? Let's get it. Of course we will. You're okay by doing this, right, Joshua? Yeah, no problem. Looks like a good way to get some experiences as a bracer. Then it's settled. I'll stop by the guild and let Anya know about the change of plan before I leave. Alright, I'm starting to feel more determined than ever. We'll have to bust our tails with these jobs so we don't get tarnished your name while you're gone. Oh, Estella, my beloved daughter, Papa's so proud. Oh, my dear Lania, who art in heaven, can you see your daughter now? Our little Estella has grown up to be a surely lovely young woman. Oh, so their, their mother is dead. Face it, Dad, you're getting old. People lose their trust in you at this age. You might as well just throw in the towel forever. I'm only helping you out because I'm your daughter, and I have a duty to pay you back for the last 16 years. I'm only 45, and what's more, I'm very likely the most active member in the entire guild. Not bad for a pair of comedians. By the way, Dad, which flight will you be on tomorrow? The one headed for Grand Sill or the one headed for Bose? I'll be on the one headed for Grand Sill. My flight departs at 10 o'clock in the morning. That means I'll have to get up a little earlier tomorrow. I better set my alarm clock. Yeah, Stella, we know how you is. You stay being late. What's this? We about to get a dream sequence? And just chilling outside. That leather, that leather bothering him. Dad, you still awake, Joshua? Better hold off on the liquor, or Estella will get mad again. This is just a way of lifting my spirits before I travel. How about yourself? Would you like to join me for a drink? I'll pass. Actually, what I should be saying here is, don't offer alcohol to minors. Not like uh, Scara, who would just jump at the chance to enjoy a drink or ten. Haha, <laughs> that's because she holds her liquor much better than I do. There's something really serious happening, isn't there? There's no conclusive evidence, but there appears to be some sort of movement within the Empire. The Emporium Empire? That sounds pretty suspicious. This movement doesn't appear to be overt, but that's what has me worried. I intend to do a little probing at the Emburium Embassy to see what turns up. Understood. I'll make sure to look after Estella while you're gone. Don't you spoil that girl, you hear me? Now that she's become a bracer, she needs to learn how to look after herself. Estella will be fine. She's got good instincts and despite being a bit rough around the edges, she has a talent with the staff as well. There's no doubt in my mind that she'll be a first class bracer someday. Yet at present, she look, she's like a babe in the arms who knows nothing about the realities of the world around her. At some point in time, she'll have to choose which path of life to follow. Joshua, the same thing can be said for you, too. It's already been five years since you became a part of this family, hasn't it? How time does fly. Yes. Sure does seem that way. About what you said back then, are you sure you won't cons reconsider taking those words back? For me, keeping my word is what defines who I am. If I can't do something as simple as that, 
I don't know how I could live with myself. I know this may sound stubborn, but I cannot take back what I said. I'm sorry. No need to apologize. But I'd like to I'd like you to remember this. No matter what path you choose in life, you can't erase these past five years. Stella and I will always be your family. No matter what may befall you. Quick nod from the homie. Thanks, Dad. That was just a prologue. Let's say peace, peace to dad real quick. Hey, peace, dad. Oh, it looks like it's time for me to board my flight. Stella, don't do anything I wouldn't do myself, and try not to be a handful for Joshua, either. For the umpteenth time, I heard you already. How about you try and not go overboard yourself with your own work? You're not getting any younger, you know. Say what you will, but I'm not about to be overtaken by any youngsters. Just as are. I'm really sorry about placing all this work on your shoulders at the last minute. Please don't. I am slightly concerned, however, about whether or not I can do a decent job in your place. There's no need to be humble, Silver Streak. And I don't mean to make your life any more difficult, but please keep an eye on these two. You just leave that to me. Is tightening up the reins and not spoiling these two fine with you? You definitely understood the way I think. What's this all about? Haha. <laughs> looks like to me a mutual understanding between master and pupil. The graceful bound airline all right, is departing. All passengers board the ship. Uh-oh, I better go take my seat. Have a great trip, Dad. We'll take care of everything while you're gone. Hurry back. Don't forget to bring back a souvenir. I'm not sure every, everywhere you'll be going, but don't forget to bring me back a souvenir. A little fancy something would be nice. Hey now, this trip is for business, not pleasure. If I have any money left over, I'll certainly think about it, though. Alright, you two, be good while I'm gone. I feel like we're not going to see Dad for a while. And they are clear for takeoff. What was takeoff? He's gone again. Yeah. Come on, you two. There's no need to look so down. Your father will be back in no time. I don't know what kind of investigation he's been asked to do this time, but when it comes to your father, he'll have it done before you know it. I'm not sad that he's gone. He's always been away more than he's been at home. Alright, alright, if you say so. Anyway, I'm going to go get to work on these jobs your father left for me. If you run into any trouble, give me a holla. Will do, but first, I'd like to try and finish a few jobs with Joshua. I want to see what we're capable of as junior bracers. Alright, if you insist. I imagine that with Joshua tagging along, there's probably not much to be worried about. Good luck, you two. Thanks. We'll do our best. See, because they know Joshua the MVP. He got them dual swords, except he be missing all the time. What do you want to do now, Estella? Shall we go stop by the guild? Yeah, we probably should talk to Anya and find out what jobs are waiting for us. Let's go. To the guild. With the faster running. Ass as hell. Let's see what we got. Do I just come here? Find a shiny rock. I like the okay, shiny rock. Oh, it's already accepted. Okay. Ferocious monster known as a pine plant. Okay. Oh, good morning, Estella and Joshua. Has your father already left? Yep, just barely. That's why we came here to find out what jobs he left for us. Sure. There are a total of three jobs have lined up for you. First one, I'd like you to head out to a farm west of here. 
A farm west of here, isn't that where Tio lives? Tio, I seem to have heard that name somewhere before. Tio Per, uh, Perzel. Perzel? Perzel? She has one of our, one, she was one of our classmates at Sunday school. She's also the Perzel farm owner's daughter. Oh, really? It's actually the Perzel farm that put in a request to have someone exterminate some monsters. Are they really having problems like that? Fortunately, nobody has been hurt, but the owner and his family are upset over their fields being destroyed by the creatures. Therefore, the guild has received an extermination request. I never would have expected something like that to happen. Okay, we'll head over there right now. Here, take this with you. This document certifies that you were dispatched by the guild. Please give it to the owner of the farm. We already know Tio's father pretty well, so I don't think this is necessary. But we'll take it just in case. Alright, let's go first. First quest! How do you see the quest again? You must be Charles. This is really weird. Where could it have gone? Oh, excuse me, but can I ask you something? You didn't see a shiny rock around here anywhere, have you? Shiny rock? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. One that sparkles. You didn't see a rock that's just laying around here, did you? Are you saying that you lost something? Um, I don't recall seeing anything like that. Do you know where you might have dropped it? My mom was calling for me, so I ran over to the general goods store where she was. I know I had it in my hand at that time, but when I came back here, it was gone. When you say general goods, you mean Mr. Reno's, uh, store? Did you look in the front? Obviously, that's the first place I looked. You don't need to treat me like a kid, you know? Why, aren't you a charmer? Well, I already asked the Bracer Guild to help me find it, so I'm sure it'll show up sooner or later. If you happen to come across it, give me a holla, straight away. I'll probably be around here. Everybody says, give me a holla. Holla, 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 you feel me? Let's take, oh wait, hold on. Aha! Huh? What's the matter? I wonder what that is. There's something shining down in that sewer gate. As soon as I said I wasn't gonna find it. Come on. Oh, we have to actually go down to the sewers? The rock he was looking for. monster he was talking about Shit. All right. We rule. 
They tried to give you a little surprise at the end, huh? Now we can go report that. Report this. Let's see if they put some new ones on there. Uh huh. Where's L4? Oh shit, sleepy. Uh, no matter when we come here, this place is always so tranquil. It's hard to imagine monsters running a Mako here. I certainly don't sense anything out of the ordinary either. Anyway, let's go ask someone here to fill us in on the details. Wonder if Tio is home today. Place looking peaceful. Monsters. These are the little monsters they talking about? Badass kids. It's Joshua. No, nobody wanna fucking play with you, man. Buddy home. We're over here. Back room. Here. More doors. Teddy bear. Another door. Find door number three. Uh, another. All right. Why is it all kids? Who are the people? They block themselves from the kids. What all these chicken? Hey, 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 hey! Ah, my God! I just went back out. Whoops. There, there are fields. How do you get over there? Why'd they barricade that? Where are your parents? The little greenhouse. That was little as hell on the outside. Like I just entered Harvest Moon. Yeah, the only complaint I would have is just the map in this game. Like, why is it like 3D, like over the shoulder type of thing? Here we go. Let me talk to you. Hi, Tio. Been a while, hasn't it? Ella and Joshua too. Did you guys come here for a visit? No. Uh. Oh, not exactly. We're here on bracer business. We heard that you've been having trouble with monsters. Ella and Joshua explain everything. Finish all your training. That's wonderful news. If you, oh shit, I forgot about my food that was sitting right here the whole time. Yo. Maybe you can help me after all. There really are monsters giving you trouble, huh? Regrettably, that's been the case these past several days now. Thanks to which I'm suffering from a lack of sleep. Which means the monsters only come out at night. You're very perceptive, Joshua. It'd be better if you got all the details from my father, though. I imagine he should be back from delivering the milk and vegetables any time now. Where your dad at? Let me guess, he gonna pop up magically in the house? I gotta wait, there he is. Good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Perlzel. How is everyone getting on these days? Well, if it isn't Estella and Joshua just roaming our house. What brings you to our neck of the woods? Did you come to see Tio? We were actually just chatting with her outside. To tell you the truth, we're here on the errand today from the Bracer Guild. <sighs> I 
Don't you think this job is a little too dangerous for you two to handle? I agree. I feel terrible if one of you were to get hurt. Don't sweat it. We're bracers after all. And taking care of some monsters is right up our alley. The guild has even authorized us to carry out this task. If you wouldn't mind leaving it to us, we'd be more than grateful. Hmm. Well, alright then. Go ahead and have at it. Thank you very much, Mr. Purzel. And could you tell us a little bit more about the monsters that have been wrecking your fields? I haven't been able to get a clear look at one yet. They seem to resemble like a chubby ch cat. As far as I can tell, three or four appear at night and raid our fields, gnawing at on anything they can get their grubby little paws on. They don't seem threatening exactly, but they're extremely nimble. I've tried many times to capture them over the course of the last several nights, but no avail. Sounds like a pretty strange bunch of creatures if you ask me. Since they only appear under the cover of the night, we'll have to wait till it gets dark. How about taking a load off till then? I assume you'll be joining us for dinner. You said the magic word. Food is all I need. I'm a huge fan of your cooking, Miss Purzel. I can't wait. You sure know how to please a woman who spends a lot of time toiling in the kitchen. And for that, I'll whip you up something special that'll live up to your expectations. All right, it's nighttime. Let's get down to business. You hear me slurping on my protein shake. Just think nothing of it, all right? Oh, that was delicious. Your mom's cooking is as good as ever, Tio. <laughs> That's because she gets excited to cook whenever we have guests over for meals. I feel bad for Joshua, though. With the little ones jumping all over him like that. <laughs> That's probably a good thing. Surprisingly enough, kids tend to latch onto him a lot. If anything, I'm more blown away by the fact that children enjoy playing with such a stick in the mud. I think that's a bit of an over-exaggeration, don't you? He's definitely more, definitely curious, courteous, and maybe even a tad reserved, but... If you get to know him, he's really a caring young man. The fact that he's not self-conscious about it, too, gives him points in my book. Really think so? Think about it, with those striking facial features, mysterious amber eyes, and lush black hair, it's only natural that he'd be a target for all the young girls. Is Joshua really that popular? Are you blind, Estella? Rumor has it more than just a few girls have asked to go out with him. I hear that he turned them all down, though. I had no idea. Joshua never said a word to me about it. I don't know how. I should even begin to describe his secretive nature about hearing this. But how utterly cruel of him not to confide me in it. Ugh, confide in me? You were a boy. I imagine it would be a different story. But as a girl, I don't think there's something... I don't think that something he would talk to you about. That's something he would talk to you about. God. And the fact that you haven't fallen for him yourself is beyond me. Huh? Why would I? Yeah, I'm about to say they're basically like brother and sister. Well, kind of. Not even really. Estella, are you in there? You're in there, aren't you? About time to do our rounds. All right, I'm coming. I'll be back after Joshua and get the job done to you. I'd like to continue this conversation then, okay? Oh, all right. Be careful out there, Estella. That girl. She's either completely out of touch with what matters in her heart or just plain dense. Poor Joshua. He really has his work cut out for him. It seems as though the monsters always show up at about this time. You better get outside and take a look around. Urgh. What's going on, Estella? I gotta ask, Joshua. You don't happen to have any secrets you're not telling me about, do you? Come on now. Where is this stuff coming from? Since you came to live with us, you've always done everything together, right? Even though we've had our fair share of fights, they're all good memories for me now, and... What I mean is, I've come to think of you as family in every sense of the word. Bella. So if there's ever anything on your mind that you'd like to talk about, I'm available to lend an ear. You know about things like... Trouble with love life and whatnot? What are you trying to say? Nothing. I just wanted to let you know that I'm here to listen to anything you want to talk about. Let's hurry up and get out there and kick some monster butt. 
What kind of nonsense is Teal putting into that girl's head? Secrets, huh? Wow, it's really dark out here in the countryside. So, oh, Joshua, how about we... Ugh. How do you think we should go about doing our rounds? Let's see. How about we start by checking around the house first, and then move on to the fields and stable in the greenhouses? We should be able to cover the entire farm by doing it this way. Alright, let's go. Mm. Protein shake is hit. Alright, so what do you say do around the house? Alright, All right, we're looking clear. Let's go about the farm. Uh-oh. No monsters here. Alright, let's keep moving. Houses. Do I have to actually go inside of them? Should have figured monsters wouldn't bother coming in here. The glow of ornaments sure gives this place a romantic ambience. Makes me feel like it was worthwhile just setting foot in here. You're definitely a ditz, Estella. At least it's better than being dense like someone I know. Look. The hell? Oh, oh, he, oh, he's scattered. I can still sense his presence. It's put, it's staying put on the farm for the moment. Well, good, because it's about to get caught. I don't know where it could have gone. Hey, there you are. I think it's about time we teach this critter a lesson. Here's where our job really starts, so stay alert and don't let your guard down. Hmm. Why the fuck is that one so tall? I guess we'll deal with the big one then. Um, right. Oh, ow. Oh, he. Oh, I'm blinded. Oh, shit, I'm about to miss. Yeah. really in the corner just trying to play dead. My goodness, the work of a bracer is something else. Kids have done a fine job rounding up these critters. Tee hee, it was nothing really. I want to ask you though, now that we've caught them, what do you plan to do with them? I don't think they'll cause any more trouble. Do we really have to exterminate them? Of course we do, Estella. That's the whole reason we came here in the first place. But 
The mission of Embracer is to protect civilians and uphold justice. Showing mercy to a bunch of monsters is just absurd and completely illogical. I see what you're getting at, but... You know, it was only some vegetables they damaged. What do you think about letting them slide this time? You know, after taking a beating like that, I'm sure they've learned their lesson. Tio, Miss Perzel. But in this case, I strongly suggest otherwise. I myself am against, against killing them too. Whether it's us or them, the fact of the matter is we're all living beings trying to survive on the same land. To some degree, I think we need to be mindful of those creatures living around us and at, as we go about our daily lives. I know you may disagree with this, Joshua, but would you mind sparing these critters just this once? Understood. Since this is coming from the ones who suffered the actual loss, I won't object to your request. I'm really sorry about this, Joshua. I know you had you... I know I had you two come all the way up here. I'm sure to reinforce the fence and devise a way to prevent this from happening again. That's that. Alright, you little critters, you better count your blessings. If we catch you around here again, you won't be so lucky. Now, it's grand. Well, consider the mat this matter closed. Tonight's been a long night, so how about we head back inside and hit the sack? Two of you are more than welcome to spend the night. Sounds good to me. I appreciate your hospitality. Hospitality. Man, I'm beat. Really late, so how about we hit the sack? Joshua? What's wrong? I'm sorry. It made the situation really awkward for everyone. Huh? Are you talking about what happened back outside? Don't sweat it. I guarantee you nobody thought anything of it. Really, your judgment was the most sound of ever anyone's. No, it wasn't. I'm just cold-hearted and indifferent is all. Even now, I still think we shouldn't have shown any mercy and simply put those creatures out of their misery. Unlike you and Tio, I don't feel any compassion. It's at times like this that I really begin to loathe myself. It's almost as if there's something wrong with me as a person. <laughs> Maybe some part of my heart is broken or something. Joshua! Don't you dare say things like that to you about yourself. Estella? I've watched almost everything you've done for the past five years. I'm confident in saying that I know your strengths and weaknesses better than anyone else. Probably even more than yourself. I won't allow you to disregard everything with a bunch of nonsense. I don't ever want to hear you say you're broken again. I'm sorry. It was foolish of me to say that. As long as you understand what I said, that's what really matters. Damn, Estella, Estella could be serious, huh? But you know what? Believe it or not... I was happy to hear you admit how you felt. Why? Your real problem, Joshua, is that you always try to keep your feelings locked up inside. Whenever you're troubled or worried, just go around with a nonchalant look and try to fix everything you're by yourself. That's a little upsetting for someone who's supposed to be for your family. Tell I. Joshua, you were able to lay bare your own weaknesses today. You've learned to trust in someone other than yourself, and for that I'm happy. I don't know what your point is, but I'm amazed that you can just stand there and say something as embarrassing as that. Ha, huh, I've got a whole more, I got a lot more where that came from. But how about we call it a night after this endless running around, I'm ready to drop. Alright then, have a good night, Estella. Thanks. You're welcome, Joshua. Sleep tight. Aww. That's my thing dripping. Thank you both. You did us all a great service. Once again, I apologize for things not turning out the way they should have. Please don't worry about it anymore. We were able to learn a lot from this experience ourselves. If there's anything else we can help you with in the future, please let us know. That'll definitely be the first place we contact. Come and visit again sometime when you're free, okay? We'd love to have you over again for the night when things are more convenient for you. I'll treat you to some of the best cooking next time you come. 
Thanks for the invitation, Tio and Miss Prizzle. We'll definitely be back to take you up on that. And when work, ugh, when our work su this load settles down. Alright, how about we head back to the guild? Gotta report this. As a mission complete. Oh, shit. Alright, back to the guild. Good morning, how did the job go at the farm? Um, we hit a few bumps in the road, but... Let me give you a brief report of the details real quick, alright? Alright, we received our payment. Current rank is junior bracer to eighth class. I see. So you s ended up setting the monsters free because Pearlza's family requested you to do so. I think it was premature on their part, but I won't pursue the matter any further. Is it okay to leave things like that? The mission of a bracer is to protect civilians and uphold justice. However, there are many ways we can protect those around us, and there are many forms of justice as there are stars in the heavens. As a bracer, it is your job to be able to discern these things. <sighs> Let me move the mic a little closer. Indeed, it is our work. Indeed, our work has, was, uh, has very profound implications if you think about it that way. That's because we aren't an organization that deals strictly with monsters' problems. We also intervene when disputes arise between nations. To become a high-ranking bracer, one must be able to have, one must have more than combat strength. A well-honed mind and flexible problem-solving problem skills are also required. A sharp mind and problem-solving ability, huh? Serious. The road to the big league sounds a lot steeper than I originally thought. Haha. <laughs> well, then your only choice is to devote yourself to hard-working every day. And since you're both here, why don't you give the details of your next job? Those are the words I was waiting to hear. I'm ready for anything, so what do you got lined up for us this time? Another monster that needs a good whooping? Not this time. The next job will entail the transportation of goods. And get this, your client is none other than Mayor Kloss himself. Really? A request from the mayor? You think it'll be alright to leaving such an important task to us? From what I've heard, it's a pretty simple job. In any case, I'd like you to speak with the mayor for details on the job. All right, let's let's go see the mayor then. Where we we oh where where the mayor at though? I'm I'm ready to go and I don't even know where. Wait, how do you look at requests? There it is. Let me see. Where is he? So I guess we just gotta go find his house. This is that's the hotel. That's the the church. Yeah, let's go to church real quick. Let's see what's good at the church. Father. I don't know what father talking about, but there's a nun up here. Oh, just a balcony. Okay. out this way. Ah, found the mayor's house. Alright, where he at, though? Do you think the mayor's even in today? Being as busy as he is, I'm sure there's pretty good chance that he's out. Well, bless my soul, if it isn't Estella and Joshua. Hi, Mayor Claus. Klaus. I hope we're not disturbing you, sir, but we've come on behalf of the Bracer Guild about a job you requested. Yes, I heard from the Guild that the two of you would be coming. So you're taking over your father's work while he's away, are you? Well, we're trying, at least. I'm very sorry about my dad, Rene... Y'all you know I can't read that word. Renijing? Renijing? On his promise like this. There's no need for apologies, knowing your father. It's typical for him to be swamped with work like this. Anyway, with Lita and my wife out and about, I'd like to move this conversation somewhere else. Why don't we head upstairs to my study and go over the details? 
In truth, I don't think you'll find this request particularly difficult. And it's for that reason I think that the asking the guild to do this job maybe have been a bit presumptuous. Unfortunately, I'm unable to get away from my work and I had to break down and ask the guild for help. We were informed that this job involves the transport of a certain something, but what is it exactly that you would like for us to carry and where? I'd like for you to pick up a septum crystal from the Malga mine and deliver it here. When you say septum, you mean like Seth and what we've come across? Accurately speaking, Seth is a fragment of septum, which is too small to be used in precious stones. Therefore, this Seth is refined and processed in the quartz, which can be installed in the orbits. What's the difference, huh? I think we got a better grasp on things now. We've actually been able to obtain a certain amount of septum called es Esmelas? Esmelias? from the Malga mine since the olden days. However, since a large piece of this crystal was recently discovered, I've asked the mine chief to hold onto it until someone can pick it up. So you'd like for us to go pick up from the mine chief and bring it here, is that correct? Precisely. What do you think? You think you can handle it? The transport of a precious gem, huh? It'll be a nice change from fighting monsters to keep us from on our toes, too. All right, we'll do it. I appreciate your willingness to help. Please take care of this, you two. Alright, so we just gotta show that to the workers. Yo, can I open this chest, though? Please? Use my sonic speed. Alright. Now, if I'm right, to the Malga mine was... We gotta go left still. This is super duper easy. All right, let's read the sign. Now, Malgamine is this way. Big Fax is this way. Oh, shit. That's just one of you. To know by now. What about it? I'm near level seven. All right, see, now I'm a little scared. There's two of y'all. Um, do I want to overkill him right now? Oh, we're in good health. Uh, fireball. Now, I'll just decide to double team my girl. Oh, that's crazy. That's real. That's real spicy of you. There you go. We're good to go. Ooh, preemptive strike. Come on, give me that. Um, I really don't think they can hurt us like that. Oh, maybe I overestimated my abilities. I gotta see. Oh, shit. Yeah, he can't hurt us anyway, so we might as well just, just gang up on this one, yo. This is the entrance to the Malga Mine. If you're not here on business, then I'll have to ask you to leave. Believe it or not, we are here on business. Roland's Mayor Claus has asked us to pick up a crystal from here. Show him the referral. 
Well, all right, then. If you got the referral from the mayor, then that's a whole different story. My bad for disrespecting you. I don't mean to make your job any more difficult, but would you mind going inside and speak with the boss directly? I'm supposed to stand here and watch out. Sure, that's fine, but why the boss? We're actually here to see the, ma the mine chief. That mine chief you're talking about is actually our boss, Mr. Gatton. He manages the mine and all of its workers. He's the kind of guy who enjoys discovering septum Lloyd more than eating three meals a day. Fairly sure he's working down in the lower tunnels today. Thanks for the tip, we'll go find him. Get your useless ass out the way. God, I gotta like do puzzles and shit. Check it out, it's a minecart. Do you think it's powered by ordnance too? Looks that way to me. How about we get in and see where it takes us? Let's go. Okay, we got we're at now we're at like a little elevator. We can use it to work to the go to the lower tunnels. There's orbital energy running through it, but it appears to be mechanically locked. Maybe we should ask someone about it. Let's go ask that dude at the front door. Nothing on this side. Let's just get in a cart without touching that. Great adios. What are you kids doing down here? Are you friends with someone who works in this mine? Not exactly. We've come to see the mine chief about the request for the uh, mayor. Also, you're here about the crystal, are you? Well, if you're looking for the boss, he should be in the tunnels below. We use the elevator at the end of the tracks on the opposite side, you should be able to get down there. We found the elevator, but we didn't make it run. You know how to operate it? Well, that's an easy problem to fix. All you need is a key to activate it. But since you don't have one of those, I'll help you out and give you mine. Much appreciated. Once our business is finished, we'll make sure to return it. Alright, let's now go back. Quick fast forward. No, no, no. I'll ride the cart. Hit this. Now ride the cart. Hey. Alright, the elevator. Estella, try using that key we just borrowed. Should be able to use the elevator this time. Looks like now it's on. Let's head down to the lower levels. Chief, where are you? Are you the chief? No, I doubt you're the chief. Oh, this is where you can rest? Oh my god, a rest station. Not good. Heaven and Earth, what are two kids like you doing down here in this mine? You're the mine chief, right? Boy, am I glad to see you. We've been searching all over in this dank place for you. We're with the Bracer Guild, and we've come on behalf of Mayor Kloss. Hmm, I see. So you kids are bracers, are you? That's quite a young uh, feat for being so young. Teehee, it's not a big deal. By the way, you're supposed to have some sort of crystal for us, so hand that shit over. Oh, right. Give me a second. This little baby is something you don't see every day. Which is why I've been keeping it close to me as, as, as possible. Pulled out that big old crystal. Wow. Look at it glisten in the light. Never seen a crystal like that before. 
That is impressive. There seems to be light just swirling around inside, too. It's one of the several types of septum. <clears throat> uh, specifically, it's an Elsmus crystal, which is endowed in with the power of wind. For a gem of this size, you're looking at a hefty price tag. I'm talking about a small fortune. Make absolutely sure that it gets to the mayor. <laughs> Who's gonna stop me if I really take it, though? It's so beautiful. It feels like I'm carrying a little fairy in my hand. And look at her, she's just stunting around with it. This is super fun. Check this out, Joshua. That's nice and all, but how about you stop horsing around? If you drop it, and we're gonna be in real trouble. Fine, you big killjoy. Oh my god. Well, I guess that's that. We'll get out of your hair now, Mr. Gatton. But don't worry, we'll make sure that it gets to the mayor. Count on you, kids. Huh? What's the matter? That's odd. The airflow down here suddenly shifted. The airflow? The scent. It's... Whoa! What happened? Is it over? Was that an earthquake just now? No. It seems there's been a cave-in somewhere within the mine. I wonder if one of my miners got hit from a loose ground. Better check the damage. Look out, Estella. What? Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, little crabs? Gosh, what am I gonna wait Yeah, yeah! Come on. Oh, shit. I wanna just pummel it? Nah, I got too much. Do some morale. Eat. Eat. Get out of here, boy. Nah, you're not really. Uh... Got this for days. Let's go. go. That was super easy. Why are there? Do they usually have problems with monsters like this? No, this is the first time we've ever had this happen down here. Monsters have a predispos uh, predisposition which attracts them to the glow of septum. We've had a lot of them wander in the cave in the mine in the past, but judging from the situation, maybe the recent cave-in that opened up a new hole for a den of monsters. Did you say a den of monsters? It's not inconceivable. But this is no time to be standing around. We've got to go make sure my workers are safe. Alright, let's go. Come on. Monster extermination time. He's appreciated that we're about to do this. So we got to get four other miners? Alright, we got some tear bomb. Oh, uh, Come on, preemptive strike. Oh shit, what? They can call for backup? Oh my god, no, I got quit. Okay. Thought that was surprising to say. Oh, Adios, who our are in heaven, extend us to thy saving hand. Hey, idiot. If you got time to pray for the goddess, then how about helping me out with these creatures? 